Well, the first lawsuit filed today against the U.S. government by four military families claiming they've suffered severe health problems after being poisoned from the Navy's Red Hill water system. KITV Forest Kristen Concilio joined us now live tonight with the latest on the ongoing crisis. Kristen. Well, Mika, the four families have all left the island to get away from the water contamination, but have all ongoing and possibly lifelong problems they want the Navy to take responsibility for. Since moving away from Oahu last month, four-year-old Indy Rose Wyatt has had unexplained seizures every two weeks. She's also had to take more medicine for a thyroid condition her mother says she never had before drinking the contaminated water. One of the scariest things is that so many people are having so many um, neurological issues and they, they don't know how to help us. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. It's sad. It's just, it's not fair. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't want to get emotional, but like, it's just... It's not fair. So I'm hoping that the Navy will um, take accountability. The young girls among the dozen people listed in a federal lawsuit detailing health problems, including seizures, gastrointestinal disorders, and neurological issues. This completely changed the course of our life. Um, I'll, I mean, she's, she's four and she started preschool here, and it's so hard to, like, watch the other little kids, like, play and and I have to go check her out of school to go get blood draws done. The attorneys for the family say the government made the suffering worse by first denying and then dismissing the health concerns. It's one thing to cause the contamination that poisoned people. But it's another thing to look at sick families and say you're not sick. And that is what the Navy continues to do today. They continue to say that there is no long-term health consequence from the exposure. That's not true. The Navy admits jet fuel leaked from its Red Hill storage facility and pledged to defuel by the end of 2024. But Hawaii officials say that's too long because the fuel is putting Oahu's entire water system at risk. The Navy released a statement saying in part, quote, nothing's more important than the health, safety and well-being of our people, their families and our community neighbors. But for Wyatt, she worries every day about the consequences of drinking the water as little Indy Rose's health deteriorates. Now the families want compensation for their illnesses and disruption to their lives. Hundreds of additional claims are expected to be filed in the lawsuit in the future. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.